G'day, my name's Cameron. I'm a brass instrument teacher. I teach trombone and trumpet mainly, although I'm just going to admit now for anyone who's watching, I'm not a professional. I'm a guy who works at primary school and I happen to play brass instruments and I get the job of teaching kids to play. It's a fun job, but there's a reason I'm only in primary school. Okay, just get that, so I'm not a professional, but I do have a lot of experience playing the last post. I've done a lot of gigs for RSL sub ranches all over uh, Victoria and South Australia and Western Australia as I remember and I can do that okay. Now I've been asked just to go and pass along a few tips about playing the last post and just to go and um, help get the mind in the right place. The last post isn't that hard. There are tricky bits but there are tricks that you can use to get around those. So I'm just going to go and show you the first thing. One of the number one concerns that people have is that there's a lot of work. You've got to use your fingers a lot. For the, if you play a brass instrument, that isn't the case. Let me show you why. This is a bugle. Now, whenever you go to the RSL, you know, go to an RSL service and somebody plays the last post, the bloke or the blokeess for that matter, playing it will always be called the bugler, even though they're playing a trumpet normally. Um, sometimes they will have a bugle, but if you have a look at the bugle, the thing is, it's got no valves, no buttons to press. It's a really basic, not complicated at all instrument. It's just a piece of tubing all wrapped up with a noisy bit at the end and a mouthpiece there. Um, the thing about having an instrument like that, you don't have to worry about what your fingers do. You've only got, I don't know, five or six notes or something, I've never really counted, to play. But here you go, here are all the notes you play in a bugle. These things are actually fairly hard to play well, and but there you go. That's, that's all the notes that you can play. And you, you notice, didn't move my fingers for any of them. May have moved my eyebrows, not a good habit to get into. Didn't move my fingers. So what that means is that when you go and get onto your trumpet, for instance, you can play it one-handed. No drama at all. Of course, on a trombone, what that means, you don't have to move your slide at all. Now, I'm just going to say, not professional, not actually a trombone player. Um, I teach trombone, so I know well enough to get, I would pass primary school, but not much further. But anyway, here is how um, trombone would start to work. Watch this. Don't need the slide. dodgy as all heck, but there we go. Now, a couple of tricks. There are a couple of things to look out for. First of all, and these are the main concerns that people have, and I've got to be honest, when I'm going to play, these are the concerns I have. First, the fast bits. There are some fast bits. I'm just going to demonstrate on my trumpet for now. Um, Here's the thing, that was as fast as I could play it cleanly. The last post you're normally playing by yourself, which means that you can play around with the speed as much as you like. It's not a race, there's no price for getting to the end quickly. So the fast bits, slow them down. If they're too fast, don't panic about it. Play at the speed that you can. Play it at a speed that you feel comfortable at to get to the end. Um, well, okay. Believe me, nobody ever complained 
that the last post was played too slow. People love to hear it, and at six o'clock in the morning on Anzac Day, hopefully your neighbours will, um, the ones who don't like it, they weren't going to like it anyway, the ones who do like it are just pleased to hear it being played. They don't care what speed the twiddly bits go at. Don't panic about that. The only bit, and this is the bit that really um, gets in my head, is the high notes. When you play the last post outside at six o'clock in the morning, you're starting to get to the, you know, right towards the middle of autumn, it's cold. You get your instrument up, get your mouthpiece on your chops, that is cold. And when your lips get cold, they start seizing up, they don't do what they want, especially in the high notes, and you wanna hit them well. Um, can't help too much about that, of course, practice, helps all those, playing high notes, practicing them all, making sure you've got a good teacher who can show you what you're doing wrong. Um, because playing high notes, there is a problem that you can damage your lips if you do it badly, okay? And we don't want that. Um, but there is a trick you can. We can actually make the whole tune lower. Not a trombone, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Ordinarily, you start on a B flat. <laughs> Let's say we go and put the slide out a bit. Let's say down to, um, I don't know, fourth position. Get out there and we're starting on, what would that be? That'd be a, a, a G. Now what happens is that means that your highest note isn't that high. Uh, it's only about a D, I think. Okay, so oh, I've got to sit down and think about that. It's all gone out of my head. But there we go. You're not having to go all the way up to an F. You're going all the way up to a D, which you might find a lot easier. So it would go like this. If you can get that first G, the lower G right, that D will be much easier to play than that F. All right, I'm just going to go and reset the camera now, and, I'm, and I'll demonstrate the whole last post for you, as well as another short thing that comes after you've played the last post. Um, it's called, sometimes it's called the Rouse, the proper name is the Reveille, or the uh, Havea, if you're a French speaker. Um, yep. Yeah. Let me just uh, reset and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm back. Hopefully this is all aimed correctly. Um, all right, <clears throat> so this is gonna be the last post played on a trombone. Remember, not a trombone player, so if a couple of notes come out a little bit dodgy, um, blame, I don't know, blame the coronavirus, who knows. Anyway, um, this is the last post. Um, I'll play this in first position for the whole thing, but again, if you still wanna go and play along, if you just wanna go and follow music along, you'll figure it out. I'm sure whoever's watching this is an intelligent person, okay? And of course, any questions, please just leave a comment and I'll uh, try to answer that as quickly as possible. All right, the last post, and I do apologize in advance to any trombone, actual trombone players who are out there.
okay. I had to make a couple of quick edits in there because <coughs> I cooked it. Um, that's all right. Everybody does. As I said, don't panic about mistakes. Don't panic about getting it wrong. The neighbours who um, you care about, they're going to love it no matter how it goes. Um, the neighbours who don't love it, they were never going to anyway. All right. So just get out there play confidently, and if you play confidently, no one will ever notice your mistakes. That's my mantra, and when I'm playing the last post, that's what I live by. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs>